Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this interesting problem related to permutations. The number of integers greater than 6000 that can be formed using the digits 3, 5, 6, 7 and 8 without repetition is dash. So we have to find out how many number of integers that can be formed which should be greater than 6000 but we should use only the digits 3, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So let's write down what are the digits that has been given to us. The digits given to us are 3, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now, we have been given 5 digits, we have to find out all the number of integers greater than 6000. 6000 is a 4 digit number. So, the solution will come from 2 scenarios. The first scenario is all 5 digit numbers or all 5 digit integers, I will say all 5 digit integers using 3, 5, 6, and 6, 7 and 8, that is my one part of the solution. The second part of the solution comes from all four digit numbers, all four digit integers, can I say, all four digit integers which are greater than 6000. So the solution is coming from two scenarios, we will find out both of them and we will try to add them. First time let us looking into all four digits numbers greater than 6000. We have been given 5 digits 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. We want 4 digit numbers. So, I will just go ahead and take 4 slots. First slot, second slot, third slot, fourth slot because we want 4 digit integers. Now, since the number has to be greater than 6000, so the first place can be occupied only by 6, 7 or 8. If I have 3 or 5 there, then the number will become less than 6000. We want only the numbers which are greater than 6000. So, this slot should be given to only 6, 7 or 8. Now, remaining 3 digits, we do not have any conditions. So, remaining 3, we can take from the whatever the 4 left out because 1 of 6, 7, 8 occupies this position, left out numbers are 4. From 4, the second slot can be taken by any of the 4. Here it is 3, any of the 3, any of the 4. Next one by any of the 3 or next one by any of the 2. How this logic works out? Total 5 digits we have. The first digit will be taken by 6, 7 or 8. That means 3 options you have to choose from. And after that, remaining second, when I go to second position, out of five digits, one digit is over. That means I have four digits. Any of the digit can come and occupy this particular position. That means four slot, four, any of the four can take it. Then similarly, the next slot can be taken by any of the three. And the next slot can be taken by any of the two. So, other way you can think is 6, 7 or 8, 3, you want to put only one number. So, can I write down 3P1? I have 3, but I want only 1, 3P1. And the remaining are 3. I have to pick 3 from the 4. That is nothing but equal to 3P1 into 4P3. So, what is the formula for NPR? We know that the formula for NPR is NPR is equal to N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. So, we can leverage that formula and we know that this is factorial 3 divided by factorial 2 into factorial 4 divided by factorial 1. You simplify this, factorial 3 by factorial 2 is 3 and factorial 4 by factorial 1 is factorial 4 only which is nothing but equal to 4 into 3 into 2. 24 which is also equal to 72. So, either you do this way or you do that way your solution is 72 integers can be formed which are greater than 6000 4 digits only. Now, let us go to 5 digits. When I go to 5 digits I have all 5 digits 
with me and I have 5 slots to be filled. So this is straightforward factorial 5. We can also understand that 5 digits are available, 5 slots to be filled. That means 5p5. Can I say that way? I can say that that is equal to 5p5 which is also equal to factorial 5 divided by factorial 0 which is equal to factorial 5 which is equal to 120. The other way you can also fill it is you can say that all 5 digits are available. So the first one can be taken by any of the first one can be taken by any of the 5 and the next one by any of the 4 remaining 4 next one by remaining 3 next one by remaining 2 and the last one by the last one. So we can we can do like this also and we multiply 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 we will get the same answer 120. So the total number of integers greater than 6000 comes from these two scenarios so we have to sum them up now. Our solution will be that's equal to 120 these are nothing but all 5 digit integers using 35678 factorial 5 plus we have all 4 digits which are greater than 6000 which are nothing but 72. So the total number of integers greater than 6000 that can be formed using the digits 35678 without repetition is 192. Let us summarize. We have been given digits 35678. We have to find out how many number of integers can be formed. But the condition is all the digits, all the integers, whatever we got should be greater than 6000. Now the first thing what we look at it is how many digits are given to us. 5 digits are given to us. Suppose there are 6 digits given and you want to find out more than 6000 then you have to look into 3 scenarios. One scenario will be all 4, di all four digits greater than 6000. Second scenario will be all 5 digit numbers and the sixth scenario will be all 6 digit numbers. Since here we have been given only 5 digits we have to divide this solution into two parts. The first part of the solution comes from all five digit integers because we know all five digits are greater than four digit that is nothing but 6000. Here it is 6000 all are greater than 6000. Second we want those four digit integers which are formed using by using 35678 but they should be greater than 6000. That means the first digit of the integer whatever is formed should be either 6 or 7 or 8 or it cannot be 3 or 5. So but the remaining slots whatever is available can be taken by any of the available digits. So first digit first slot is given to 6, 7 or 8 that means 3 options are available. When I go to the next slot remaining 4 any of them can take it so that means 4 and the next slot is remaining 3 and the next slot is remaining 2 but we want all these conditions to happen at a time that means it's basically we want all of them to happen this is a and condition so whenever it is and we have to multiply them I want all this to happen that means together we want it to happen that's my that's why we have to multiply that 3 into 4 into 3 into 2 otherwise you can also do it using permutations you say that three options are available 6 7 or 8 but I want to pick only one so can I say 3 p 1 and remaining three I have to fill the slots with the help of four digits that is 4 p 3 so 3 p 1 into 4 p 3 is equal to 72 then I go to the second part of the solution it is five digits very simple five digits five slots factorial five are also you can say 5 p 5 I have five slots I have 5 digits so I can pick them in 5p5 wise or factorial 5 which is equal to 120. So the total number of integers greater than 6000 comes from the combination of these two solutions that is 120 plus 72 which is equal to 192. So thanks for your time and support. I'll catch you once again with another interesting problem. Till then keep smiling and sharing. Bye for now.